let's take a look at the mouth and the functions of the mouth in digestion and the functions in the mouth and how the mouth helps you to lose weight. We've seen already the functions of the mouth are chewing and absorption. So all we really need to do to, to give the mouth the tools that it needs to perform its job properly for our engine is to chew our food and to allow the mouth to absorb our food. The tools really are chewing properly, taking the time to chew. How much chewing? Well, it depends on what you're eating, but chew your food until it's liquid. Absorption, anticipate your food and give the mouth time to absorb. Now what do I mean by anticipation? We're going to do a small experiment. I'm going to have you close your eyes and imagine your favorite food. And by favorite food, I really mean something that really turns you on. It could be a strawberry dessert, chocolate cake. So I'm not going to put any more pictures up. Close your eyes for 10 seconds and join me and imagine your favorite food. Imagine you're going to have it for your next meal, whether it's lunch or breakfast. Imagine you've ordered it and it's on the way and you can smell it and you can taste it. Now open your eyes. Your mouth is watering. If you did that experiment properly, your mouth should be watering. In fact, if you did it really well, your stomach may even be growling. Those are the indications that the mouth is switched on. And that's why anticipation is so important in the one minute metabolism. Because by anticipating your food, you're telling your brain to tell your mouth and your stomach that food's on the way. So the mouth starts to produce saliva, the stomach starts to produce the digestive enzymes that we need to digest our food. So congratulations, you've now learned how to switch the mouth on and you've found the first gear in your gear lever. You've switched on the ignition, you've turned on the engine and you've found first gear and you're ready to drive. And the one minute metabolism really does all of this for you. It's all built in to the system. So let's take a look at what chewing does. Chewing breaks the food into small pieces. The stomach is not designed to break food into pieces, otherwise it would have its own set of teeth. It doesn't. The stomach expects food to come as liquid. So by breaking the food into small pieces, you're actually helping the stomach to digest the food. By chewing properly, it gives the mouth time to absorb the food. It absorbs carbohydrates, it starts carbohydrate digestion, and you actually absorb 80% more through the mouth than you do through the stomach. Your vitamins, minerals, nutrients, they come from the mouth. And if you give your, your mouth time to digest those, you will actually absorb more from your food. So you'll need less food to absorb the same amount of food. That's why the vitamin sprays work, because vitamin sprays are oral and the mouth actually absorbs the vitamins better than the stomach does. By chewing more, you give the brain time to realize you're full. When the brain sends out full signals, it sends out enzymes that tell the body you're full. So then you don't crave food. That's why when you chew longer, you have lower levels of ghrelin and higher levels of the hunger suppressing hormone. And also, the saliva contains antibacterial enzymes. If you're suffering from stomach complaints, often it's a result of not chewing your food properly. If you have large pieces of food going into the stomach and then into the intestines, it's a place for bacteria to grow. But if the food is liquid, your stomach can digest it and there are very, the very few bacteria left in the food and therefore your stomach stays healthy. So if we think back to the studies that we did at the One Minute Metabolism, we saw subjects who, who chewed more, 40 times or more, ate 12% less, between 10 and 14%, so I've taken an average of 12%. It doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't sound like, woohoo, shouted from the mountains, found the key to weight loss. But if you have an average diet of 2,500 calories a day and you need to just cut those down a little to lose weight, 10% of that is 300 calories per day. And there is no effort required here, remember? You're not avoiding food, you're not changing what you're eating, you're not exercising more, and you're, you're losing 300 calories a day. 300 calories relates to 3 pounds a month. So just by chewing your food for longer and making sure it's liquid before you swallow, you could be losing it three pounds a month. And that is extra weight loss. That's not if you're on a diet or if you're increasing your exercise. So that is a pretty amazing benefit for just chewing your food. I mean, three pounds a month after six months is almost 20 pounds that you've lost and you've done nothing different. You're still enjoying 
all the foods you love and you're still getting all the benefits of the foods that you love and that you love to eat. So, for the one minute metabolism, anticipation, switches on the mouth, chewing is the tool that we use to create the food into a liquid state so that the stomach digests it. So really anticipate your food and chew your food or just do the one minute metabolism. You'll start seeing the results in a week, I promise, I guarantee you.